Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today, guys, I'll be showing you how to fix the issue where your WhatsApp verification code is not received um, issue. All right. So if you're having this particular issue, especially when trying to sign up or sign into your um, WhatsApp account, simply follow the steps. And the issue looks similar to this one here. So basically, you launch um, WhatsApp, and once you go through the setup process. Um, you also so go ahead and um, accept the permissions. But of course, guys, as soon as you enter your number here, where it says that WhatsApp will send an SMS message, um, carrier charges may apply to verify your phone number, enter your um, country code and phone number below. And of course, once you do all of that and hit next, You'll be waiting for the SMS or the message, and of course, it will never um, arrive. So, if you're having this particular issue, guys, simply follow these tips to fix the problem. All right, guys. So, if you're having the problem, simply go ahead and from your device, you can simply go to settings. And of course, guys, if you are on a iPhone, I'll also have tips for iPhone users as well later on in the video, so you can continue watching as well. So, simply go to apps. Once you're in apps, guys, let's go down. What you're looking for here is you're looking for WhatsApp. WhatsApp should be somewhere towards the end of the list. Notice WhatsApp here. Let's go ahead and tap. Once you do that, go to storage. Once you're in storage, just go ahead, guys, and clear cache. Right? And then go ahead next and clear data. So once you clear data, go ahead and delete. And once you delete, that's it. Now next, you're going to go ahead again and launch the application. It should this time ask you again to verify your number and so on. But this time in most cases, it should go through and the message should be received. And that is the first major tip that should fix it for most users. Next, if you have another device or you have an Android device, you can also try the following. Alright guys, the second tip is to make sure the date and time on your device is correct. Now, the best way to do this is you could try manually setting the date and time. However, it's best to automatically set the date and time. Now, if you're on Android, go to settings. And then, of course, once you're in setting, next, go down to general or general management. If you're on an iPhone, it should say general. On Android devices, it should say general management. Go into general management. Next, go to date and time for Android. And of course, in here, you should see several options. You have the manual option. Next, just set your device here to automatic date and time or, or set date and time automatically. So in this case, you could just simply go ahead and toggle this option on. I won't do that right now. And once you toggle set option on, what's going to happen is that your device uh, should basically sync with the online servers and you should get the correct date and time according to your region. And of course, once you do that, go ahead again and try WhatsApp and see if you can actually receive the message notification as sometimes the issue is caused by the date and time. Next, it's always recommended, third option, to go to the Google Play Store. Once you're in the Google Play Store or the App Store on um, your other device, you're going to go next in here and you're going to check your My Apps or what are your latest apps. And of course, you're going to see if there are any updates for WhatsApp. And if there is an update for WhatsApp, as you're seeing here, update, just go ahead and hit update. By updating to the latest version of WhatsApp, what you have done is that you're going to make sure you have all the latest bug fixes. Because sometimes the issue is caused by a bug in the code, and that's what could be affecting your device. Even if the current version was working before you tried to log back in. So as you can see, it's already installed. But there's an update so make sure you update um, to the newest version all right if that doesn't work guys the fourth option is to check your network connection now as you see here i'm connected to wi-fi maybe you're on mobile data just go ahead and check to see if you're browsing you can always launch the internet browser and see if you can go to a website of some sort and as you can see here i'll launch the web browser and of course you can see i am um, able to browse as if I search for something simple you notice it will simply search all right meaning I have internet connection and it's working fine 
So of course, in some cases, you might have connectivity issues and the WhatsApp may not be communicating properly with their servers. So that's why the message was not sent. So that is the fourth. Finally, and this goes for iPhone as well as Android devices, you can actually try resetting network settings. Now, by resetting your network settings, what you'll be doing is that you'll be resetting only network settings. And this has nothing to do with resetting any of the data on your phone. So your data should be fine. So let's go ahead and find reset. You can go to reset. Once you're in reset, you'll notice there are two types of reset. Reset settings and reset network settings. Now, of course, there's also factory data reset. Do not use the factory data reset as you do not want to wipe the entire device. You only want to reset all your network settings back to their default. Notice it says reset Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other network settings to their defaults. So let's go ahead and tap, follow the instruction, and reset your network settings. You will not lose any data. You may have to log back into your Wi-Fi or so on. But of course, this is a great way of troubleshooting issues with connections. So if you're having any major connection issues, especially something that's not obvious and something is not working with your network, by doing this, you should be able to correct the issue. And that is the fifth and final tip. And once you do all of that, guys, what should happen is that you should be able, once again, to go through and launch WhatsApp and it should be working as normal. All right, and as you can see, guys, mine went through. And of course, this time I can simply just um, restore my account and everything should work as normal. All right, guys, this has been Ricardo from Block Tech Tips showing you how to get that SMS message that's stopping you from verifying your account. Um, and of course, by trying these tips, you should be able to verify and regain access to your account. All right, this is Ricardo from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.